Mr. Puskins and Little Whiskers, written by Sam Lloyd. This is the story of a little girl called Emily and her dear cat, Mr. Puskins. Dum diddly, dum dum, do do do, sharing magic moments, just us two. They thought life couldn't get any better. Then one day, Emily announced that she had a fabulous surprise for Mr. Puskins. He was very excited. Emily fetched her large cardboard box and inside the box was a kitten. This is Little Whiskers, said Emily. She has come to live with us. She is only a tiny kitten, so we need to take care of her. I'm sure you two will be the best of friends, smiled Emily. So I leave you to play lovely games together. Mr. Puskins needed to be alone. He was somewhat disappointed with his fabulous surprise and he certainly wasn't in the mood for lovely games. Little Whiskers wasn't in the mood for lovely games either. The pesky kitten took great delight in ruining all Mr. Puskins' special times. She ruined telly time. She ruined meal time. She ruined play time. She ruined nap time. When Emily wasn't looking, Little Whiskers ruined everything. Mr. Puskins could bear it no longer. Something had to be done. So that evening, Mr. Puskins wrote a letter. To whom it may concern, I am displeased with my fabulous surprise. I find the kitten extremely irritating and wish to return her ASAP. Yours fed upingly, Mr. P. Tomorrow he would send it. Then Mr. Puskins settled down for a nice long sleep. Bam, bam! Suddenly a hideous noise woke him up. He dashed to see what was going on. Clunk, clunk! Emily dashed too. And who did she see? Mr. Puskins, she gasped. You know better than to play such a terrible tune at this time of night. You might have woken little whiskers. Emily banished Mr. Puskins outside. You need to think about what you've done wrong, she said. But Mr. Puskins hadn't done anything wrong. As rain turned to snow, he thought about his cosy home. He reached up to the window to take a peek. That wretched kitten! She was already sitting in Mr. Puskins' favourite spot by the fireside. Mr. Puskins was furious. But Little Whiskers wasn't enjoying the fireside. She knew she had been behaving naughtily, not Mr. Puskins. How she wished there was a way she could make things better. And there was. Little Whiskers leapt onto the piano. Bam, bam, clunk, clunk, boom, boom, boom. In rushed Emily. Oh, good gracious, she gasped. Little Whiskers, it was you that played that terrible tune, wasn't it? Meow admitted the kitten. Emily hurried outside. My poor Mr. Puskins, please forgive me, she begged. And of course, Mr. Puskins did. Little Whiskers asked Mr. Puskins to forgive her too. And eventually, Mr. Puskins did. Mr. Puskins didn't send the letter after all. He decided Little Whiskers could stay. This is the end of the story of a little girl called Emily and her dear cats, Mr. Puskins and Little Whiskers. Dum diddly, dum dum, dee dee dee, sharing magic moments, just us three. And now life is perfect. <laughs>